Uh, yes, I have a red lip on. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. The more I wear it, the better I feel. Who knew I would love a red lip? Hello everyone. So in today's video, it is my Shop My Stash week four. So I'm going to go through my everyday makeup drawer. I'm going to empty out of all the products that's inside of it and then throw in new products to test out for the next two weeks. And at the end of those two weeks, I will check back in with you guys, do a product update and let you know how I liked those products and maybe which products I didn't like. If you're unfamiliar with my Shop My Stash videos, basically, like I just said, every two weeks I go through my makeup collection. I put things in there that maybe I haven't used in a while. Maybe they're new to my collection. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to throw it in there, test it out for two weeks and see if I love those products, see if I hate them, and then start it all over in two weeks. So I feel like this has actually been really helpful for me because I've been able to test out a lot of the products within my collection that I hadn't used in like a really long time. Or maybe they were products that I'd had that I had only tried out a couple times. So I'm finding products that I really love and that I just don't really love. So I feel like I can give those products away to friends and family that maybe they'll like them, maybe they'll use them. And that way I'm kind of condensing my collection as well. So I don't have so much that's just going to waste. So overall, I feel like this has just been a really good thing for me in general. I feel like doing videos on it is keeping me accountable to using more of my makeup than just using the same things over and over again because that's what I do all the time. I just, whatever is in that everyday makeup drawer, that's what I reach for. So I'm really bad at just going through my drawers and finding stuff. I have two kids under three and I just don't have a whole lot of time to be messing with every single drawer and going through my makeup collection. So yeah, I feel like this has been a really good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and get started. Before though, if you guys are new, hey, my name's Liz, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also ring your guys' notification bell so you can be notified for all my future videos. And if you guys want to see my shut mustache week four, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is my everyday makeup desk. I've just rearranged everything in my room and this is what I've come up with to be my everyday stuff. But this guy right here, this is my everyday makeup drawer. The things that I don't take out are these two concealers because that's honestly all that I use. If you've been watching these videos, you know, it's all that I got. And then my eyeliners, mascaras, brow stuff. I don't switch them out because I want to be able to use them up before they go bad. So those are some things that stay in there. And then I just have some other stuff, skincare, my setting spray and those things just stay right there too. So I don't switch those out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the face. I have kind of reorganized things a little bit. So basically I have my drugstore foundations, high-end foundations, drugstore primers, high-end primers, and then kind of like cream highlight, cream contour, cream blush kind of thing back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with primer. One that I haven't used in a really long time. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this stuff, but I literally literally haven't used it in months. So I want to use this. And then I also want to give this a go. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Prime and Base. It's a hydrate and smooth primer. And I got this from Influencer a while ago and I want to give it a go. I've only tried it a couple times. I don't remember if I liked it or not. So I'm gonna throw that in there. For foundation, I picked up the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating foundation stick. I did an entire video on it and I really, really love it. So this is what I'm going to use as my foundation. I'm going to grab this thing. This is the Au Naturel. It's a cream blush in the shade Grapefruit. Got it from an Allure box and it looks super pretty. So I'm going to throw that in there. On to face powders. I haven't used this Essence Brighten Up powder for a really long time. I'm going to use that to set underneath my eyes. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. Mine is in Fair. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer. I just picked this up from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and I've tried it once. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna throw that in there. For blush, I'm gonna pick the ColourPop Count Me In Super Shock Shadow. You guys, I've fallen in love with this. Just picked it up, what, last week with it's part of ColourPop's spring collection and it is gorgeous. In fact, I ordered three more shades um, because I'm a little 
obsessed right now. A couple other palettes that I want to throw in there. This is the Cover Effects palette. What is it called? The Perfector Face palette, I guess is what it's called. And this has a contour blush, finishing powder, brightener, and two highlights. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. We got this in our Boxy Charm this month. And so I'm going to throw that in there. And then I'm also going to throw in the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I don't think I've ever actually put this on my face. And I got this like over two months ago at this point. And I know that it's really pretty. I just need to use it. So I'm going to throw that in there. Okay, I'm throwing this back in there. This is the ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in Half Moon. I think I put this in my very first shot my stash and I never used it. So I'm putting this in there and I am forcing myself to use it because they're coming out with a lot of Jelly Much shadows and I really want to try them, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to make myself use this. And then I also want to throw this ColourPop Kush Super Shock Shadow. It's a really pretty like taupey kind of color and I've used it once and I absolutely think it's gorgeous. So I'm going to put that in there. For an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go with the ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. You guys, this thing is so pretty. Again, just picked this up a week or so ago at this point. Did a video on it. I'll link it up above, but this is like the perfect springy palette. I'm really excited to continue to play with it. And then just to give me a little bit of variety, I'm going to go in with these Wet n Wild palettes. I don't get a lot of use out of them. I just feel like I'm reaching for other things constantly. So I want to play around with them some more, see how I really feel about them. So I'm going to throw that in there. If I don't want to go for a peachy look one day, I can have more of a neutral look. For some lip products, I'm going to go in with this. This is the Burt's Bees Blush Basin Lipstick. Again, we got this in our last Allure box, or I did. I got this in my last Allure box. It's super pretty. So I'm going to throw that in there for some lipstick. I'm also, again, going to throw this in there. This is the ColourPop Spring Roll, again, from their spring collection. Got it and love it. So I want to keep playing with that. I'm also going to go in with this. This is the Becca Lipstick in Mocha. A really, really pretty color. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, but this is what it looks like. So pretty. So I'm also going to throw that in there. We got that from our last boxy Lux box from March. A couple other lip products. I'm gonna throw this in here. This is the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss. I also just got this. This is in Roundabout. So I'm gonna throw that one in there along with this. This is the Milani Plumping Lip Gloss and this one's in the shade Nude Shimmer. I just actually picked this up today from Target so I wanted to try that out. And I'm also gonna throw these two things in here. This is from Julep. This is their It's Balm and It's Lip Crayon. This one's in the shade Vintage Mauve. It's really interesting kind of thing. So I wanted to throw that one in there. And then this is from Bite Beauty. It's a lip pencil in Madeira. And I used to wear this like all the time. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I just haven't grabbed it in a really, really long time. So I'm going to throw that one in there. Oh, and I wanted to try this out. I think I'm actually going to throw this one in there too. This is the Flower Beauty in your Prime Illuminating Primer. I picked this up and I haven't used it yet. Used it yet so I want to see how that works. Okay. And since I'm digging my red today, I am going to throw these in here. These are the Bite Beauty Liquefied Lips. This one is in Braised and then this one is in Flambe. I think it's what it's called. And I'm going to put these in there because I'm actually digging my red lip today. So going to give me some red lip options. Okay, so this is everything that I got. I don't like putting too much in there because then I'm not going to use everything that I put in there. So I try to keep it really minimal to make sure that I actually use those products. So yeah, this is what I picked. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on putting it all away. and here we go got all the eye products <laughs> right here we got my foundations and concealers and primers I also have my other primer up there because it's too big to fit down here got all of my lip products in this drawer got all of my eye products in this drawer my eyeshadow type products all go in here and then got the rest of my face makeup in here powders blushes bronzers everything highlights it's all going right in there so there you go that is my shot my stash week four products okay that is it what do you guys think of the products that I chose 
chose. Also, if there's anything that I chose and you want to see a specific video on it, let me know in the comments down below because I will do a video with these products, using them, testing them out. That way you guys can see how these products work. So if there's anything that you specifically want to see, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to put that one in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.